Hey, welcome back to uh, YouTube and welcome to the longer version in the state of Wisconsin, okay? State of Wisconsin. So welcome to YouTube, okay? And uh, so let's get right into it. So state of Wisconsin is what? Tax deed state, tax deed state. So we know fundamentally, what does a tax deed state mean? That you're gonna be bidding to what? Own the property in the state of Wisconsin, okay? So how are the auctions held? Well. The auctions are held basically very simply, okay? It's called a bid of premium. Bid of premium is, means that whoever pays the highest amount will win at the auction, okay? So give, let's give an example. Susan bids $1,000, Bill, Bill bids $2,000, Sonia bids $5,000, and if nobody bids any higher, then she wins, okay? So you are bidding up the price, okay? Um, so that's how they call it, bid up premium and everything. And uh, whoever, I call it, whoever pays the highest amount wins, okay? In simple terms, okay? English terms, I already say. But anyways, um, let's talk some more about the state of Wisconsin. Well, uh, they have a lot of their auctions, either some are in person and some are online, okay? One of the online sites you can go to, okay, is Wisconsin Surplus. Dot com okay wisconsin surplus.com okay now when you go over there there's going to be different areas that you can register okay because it's not just tax sales that they sell over there at wisconsin surplus they sell all types of materials from cars from furniture to knickknacks to you know um what we're doing the real property and so on like that so when you go there, you've got to look into the county tax sale auctions, okay? Tax delinquent auctions. Look for the real property auctions there. And uh, that's where you're going to be bidding for the properties, okay? So, but, you know, if you're interested in looking at some of the other items, great, okay? But we're going to talk about the real property, okay? Real property, okay? Which are, you know, like houses, apartments, you know, condos, you know, stuff that is attached to the land that you got to pay property taxes. All right. So remember, some are in person, some are online. Okay. Now, it's important to know in Wisconsin, all right, that what they do is kind of unique because their opening bid will be much higher than what is owed on the property taxes. I, I don't know why, but that's how they do it, okay? So you've gotta make sure that you do your homework, you do your numbers, okay? And you basically have what? First of all, you should basically be doing is saying, okay, what is the parcel number? What's the APN number? that they're selling on the property. That's the very first thing you have to find out. What is the parcel number? What's the APN number that they are selling, okay, at the auction, okay? Well, once you have that information, well, you can very easily check with the assessor's office because the assessor is the one who um, puts the price, you could say, assesses the, the value of the property okay, puts the value of the properties, okay, is the assessor's office, okay? So if you have that little APN number, you can check with the assessor's office, either in person or online, I mean, in, in, on phone, and they can probably steer you to their website that you can do a lot of this research on your own to find out what type of property is it, okay? And uh, what's the value that they're putting as the assessor? Now, <clears throat> after all that, you kind of want to <clears throat> go onto your realtor.com and you want to go to other um, other areas too. If you could, very important, try to drive by, look at the property or pay somebody who lives there locally and uh, drive by and take some photos for you of the property, you know, how the condition is. See, you know, is it empty? Is the property empty or anything like that? You know, are there... Uh, are the windows boarded up? You also want to check with your local building and safety department. Building and safety department, okay? Because you want to find out, you know, did the local 
municipalities put violations on the property, okay? That you as the investor will be responsible for to pay if you acquire the property, okay? So remember, Wisconsin's a tax deed state. So remember, you gotta do your homework because you're gonna own the property at the auction. You're gonna own the property at the auction. It's very critical there, okay? And whoever pays the highest amount will win at the auction. Some of them are in person, some are online. Now you gotta check with the county, okay? To see, hey, do you charge me a, a fee to participate in your auction? Some counties will, and that fee may be hefty, okay? Uh, they may charge you 100 bucks, 150 bucks, or something like that. And, you know, some counties may charge you a fee to get the list of the properties going to sale, all right? So you, as the investor, have to know a lot of these rules and regulations of what the county is going to do if you're gonna bid in that state. Okay, so that way you get, you get a little bit more prepared. All right, guys, I do hope you liked the little video. Um, if you do, please like us. You know, there's a longer version here on YouTube, okay? And, uh, you know, if you want some free information, go to taxsalessuccess.com, okay? Taxsalessuccess.com, okay? Put your name, email information. You'll get some free videos under taxsalessuccess.com. Keep watching us, okay? We'll have some more information coming for you. And you remember our motto here, you are one step away from your dreams coming true in the tax sales, okay? So until next time, we'll see you then. Bye-bye.